You know, the spirit of the Lord is constantly looking for ways to give you dreamy harvests. And it's actually the work of the Holy Spirit that works in you that make you dream about things. Do you know the spirit of God will let you see somebody? And while you're watching them, the spirit of God will drop in you a desire for your own self. And if you think about it, this is so amazing. Do you know that the spirit of God will let you view somebody? And while you're viewing them, he'll download dreams into you while you're viewing them. Because they have something that God actually wants to give to you. And so he'll use you to see them. And while you, you see them, the dreamer in you comes alive. Saints, do you know that there are some people that get your appearance before you get it? Now, that might go over some of you all's head. But watch this here. I'm going to say this and this is shocking. Sometimes people get your appearance before you get it. So God wants you to wear your eyeliner like that. So you see somebody with the eyeliner, you say, oh, snap, that's, that's me right there. And, and really, they just got the idea before you got it. But God led you to see them so that you could take what was belonging to your appearance. The Holy Spirit has so much facets of life that he brings to your soul to make you happy, to make you joyous, to make you experience the glory of life on earth. Your life on earth is not just a carrying of crosses that bear you down. No. The cross is actually just the initiation for the crown. Once you get the crown, the crown is enjoyable. It's pleasurable. It's pleasurable. Sometimes people get your ideas before you get them. And they don't even serve God. But they have the mentality that God wants to put in you. Because there's something that they have that they took from God. And they're operating in it. How many of you all know? You can go to a store. You can take some. Um, you can take some. Uh, some M and M's from the store. That don't mean that you friends with the owner. But those M and M's still taste good, boy. <laughs> Them M. They, listen, you ain't gotta be a friend of the owner to say that those M and the M and M's taste good. The M and M's still taste good. But watch this. Do you know what's happening? You took something from the owner. You're using it. You're enjoying it. But you have nothing to do with the owner. A lot of people are like that in the world. They took something from God. A personality. An appearance. Uh, a style. But they have nothing to do with him. So you have to understand God himself will, will, will lead you to a lot of things because people have it, but they don't have who had it and gave it to them, which is God himself. So God himself will lead you and say, I want you to use that for me. I want you to use that for me. The other day I was, um, I had, I went to a, a place and there was a, I don't want to talk his situation. But it was a stranger. And so I ended up winning him to Jesus. But one of the things that he was saying to me, he said, oh, snap. He said, you be on Instagram? He said, he said you got new music out? I said, um, yeah, I got new music. I got something like that. <laughs> uh -huh, but yeah, I got something like that. I got something like that. Beep, 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 beep. I got something like that. I got something like that. You know I got something like that. I got something like that. You might not. Yeah, yeah. I got something like that, though. I got something like that. 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 You might not. Yeah. But I still got something like that. I got something like that. You might not. I got something like that. Yeah. I might, I might, I might, but I got something like that. I got something like that. And, and so I ended up winning him to Jesus. I said, Jesus gave me everything I have here. I said, da, da, da. I said, Jesus, Jesus. And then I said, I said, listen. He said, man, man, well, I want to know Jesus too. 
can I get to know how 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 you how you get to know him like that? So I said, if you want to pray this prayer, and we we invite Jesus to to come and 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 he was like, yeah. So I used that, but I thought about it. He was only interested in my chain. But the idea to have the chain came from Jesus. Because Jesus knew that his idea wants chains. So with the idea that the Lord gave to me, it had someone else's idea in it. But the Lord knew that I was going to be wise enough to lead them to him. The give up the idea. Dreamy harvests is where God gives you something that you're really going to have fun with. It's going to become a toy to you. <laughs> a car. A vehicle. A wardrobe. A hairstyle. A dreamy harvest is where God gives you something that's going to be a toy to you. You're going to enter into a playground of heaven on earth. And it's all the spirits doing. Dreamy harvest is, is consecutive pampering from the father in heaven. Oh, somebody remember that. Dreamy harvests is, is continuous pampering from the Father in heaven. The Lord will pamper you. He'll pamper you. I I have I had two towels that I was I, I had I was, I was uh, making a decision to use, and one of the towels was just a normal towel. The other towel was a Versace towel. I got the normal towel right. And I, I was walking and, and, and the spirit of God said, no, get the Versace towel. In the back of my head, I said, no, why well, can't just use this towel? <laughs> it's just a towel. Here's what God said to me. He said, but you my king. I said, here's what God said to me, the creator of the universe. He said, but you my king. I don't want you to use that towel right now. I want to see you in that towel. This Versace towel is more kingly. Man, I was shocked like a mother. I was shocked like my, oh man. I, 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 I was going wild. I said, what? How the Lord Jesus interested in, in, in to the fact of a towel. This towel ain't going to win nobody to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You know. What's underneath the towel? Well, um, <laughs> this towel ain't going to win nobody to the Lord. This ain't, this ain't going to win nobody to the Lord. Or nothing, nothing, nothing. Hey, what, 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 what? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going, I ain't, I ain't going. And, I thought about it. this time ain't gonna win nobody to the Lord. Like what this ain't, and I thought about it. This 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 Jesus thinking about this towel and saying, "I want you to have the best." Dreamy harvests. Dreamy harvests is where the Father finds a better preference than what you thought was the best. Did you catch what I just said? Dreamy harvests is where the father finds a better preference than what you thought was the best. So you thought this was the best and the father will still find a way to show you something better. Dreamy harvests is where the Lord manifests his caretakership towards you. He Oh, he going to show out on how much he's a caretaker of you. You know, one of the, the glories of sowing is I found out that it increased how God took care of me. Oh, and I love that. I look back at it now. I always wanted God to be my source. 
And so I increased how he took care of me through my sewing. And I found out um, the seed is actually what caused him to run after what he had already predestined to do. That was going to make me happy. Now, saints, I, I want to say this. There are some things that God knows that he made you that, that, that your, your happiness is around that. It makes him happy when he can give you your happiness. Every soul I must know. This statement. Why have I stopped my God from giving me what's going to make me happy for so long? Why did I stay on this earth for 20 years and stop my God? Why did I stay on this earth for 50 years, 40 years, 60 years? Why did I stop my God from giving me what he just wanted to give me? And this is what I wanted. This was going to make me happy. Why did I stop him? I let my feelings get in the way. Oh, I'm offended. Oh, I got to protect my dignity. Protect your dignity? Why did I stop my God from being my God? And sowing enters you into the world of delayed and stolen pleasures. Did you catch that? Sowing enters you into the world of delayed and stolen pleasures. Solomon entered into a world of pleasure. The queen of Sheba entered into a world of pleasure because she wanted access to. See, we don't often think about this, but Solomon was the queen of Sheba superstar. He was famous. She was like, oh, I just want to get next to Solomon. If I just get two minutes, boy. God made a dream come true. Dreamy harvests. The Saphonician woman. She wanted to be close to Jesus. We see all throughout the Bible where people had dreams. You say, well, what did a Saphonician woman sow? She sold herself. The Bible said that she worshipped him. So she gave. You never thought about that, did you? The Saphonician woman. He said, he called her a dog. A female dog. And you know what that really means. Jesus had a hot mouth. He said, you beep. Get your hands off of me. He was like, oh, shoot, oh, Jesus. Wait a dang minute. And there was two Pharisees in the back tone. See, I told you he got demons. I told you he got demons. See, you ain't listening to me. I, try, I told you that he got demons. I told you that he got demons. I told you. Then I'll tell you. I told you that he got demons. I saw him slap somebody the other day. I saw him slap him. The other one said, no, he didn't slap him. He just laid hands on him. That's a slap. If you lay hands according to Jerusalem law, it's a slap. It's an SL app. You, you caught what I just said there? It's an S, it's an L, and there's an app. It's a slap. It's an app. App. Jerusalem slap. Jerusalem app. App. S S L. Dreamy harvests is where the Father searches out even blessings that were supposed to come to the generation before, and God will give it to you. Dreamy harvests. Dreamy harvests. Dreamy harvests is where the Lord will take away something that's bringing you sorrow. Dreamy harvests is where the Lord will take away something that's bringing you sorrow. He won't pitch you on top. When you sow and see, you always got to remember. This is what I'm doing because I'm top. Top sowing is where you discern who God has anointed to make you rich on earth. Who God has anointed to bring health to you. Who God has anointed to give you wisdom. Dreamy harvests is where the spirit of the Lord uh, showcases a champion assigned to your life. Top sowing. Top sowing is where God shows you not your needs, but someone that has power to deliver you from your needs. Top sewing. 
top sign. Father, I receive dreamy harvests in my life and I thank you for taking good care of me. Thank you for taking good care of me. I receive your power to take good care of me. I receive your power to take good care of me. I receive your power to take good care of me. Lord, thank you for taking good care of me. I receive your power to take good care of me. I receive your power to take good care of me. I receive your power. In the name of Jesus, I receive your power to take good care of me. I receive your power to take good care of me. I receive the power of God. I receive dreamy harvests in my life. I receive your power to take good care of me. I receive your power to take good care of me. All of your power to take good care of me, I receive it in Jesus' name.